the easiest way to think about Memex is um, how can I make uh, how can I make the unseen seen? If there's uh, networks of things that exist in large amounts of data, how can I draw connections and bring something that's invisible and make it visible? We we got this exclusive demonstration from Chris White, who invented Memex, who told us this unbelievable statistic about the internet, and it really kind of shocked us. The internet is much, much bigger than people think. By some estimates, Google, Microsoft being Yahoo, only give us access to around 5% of the content on the web. Fi only 5% only five. of the content on the web? So if I search Google, there's 95% information that they don't look for? That's right, and that includes information on the deep web, things like temporary web pages, pages on chat forums. It also includes the dark web, sometimes called the anonymous web. This is where the criminals actually conduct their business. This is where they sell, trade, move, advertise. So this is really fertile ground for law enforcement to look at. But the problem is, until now, that was really, really, really hard to do in any systemic way. One of the things Memex does is it can take all these sex ads and see who is posting them and are these people traveling across the country. If someone's traveling all across the country, that suggests more of a trafficking ring. What Memex did was take all the 60 million ads and sort of map them. Where are these ads appearing? And what you get is a visual representation of sex trafficking in America. You could actually see in, on a map how sex trafficking works. Wow, so look at, these are all, like this is a network, if you follow this down, in other words, girls are being moved from here to here to here and you can follow that? Well, we know at the least the people that are advertising those girls, uh, they're the ones moving around. And we think sometimes the girls move with them and sometimes not. So one of the questions is who are these traffickers, who are these people? What happens now with law enforcement is, let's say they find an email address in a sex ad. They go site by site by site, sort of result by result. This takes hours, days, years. They're bound to misinformation. Chris showed us how Memex does it differently. So the first thing I'll do is I'll draw what we call the data wake. All of those little circles are the links we didn't click on. So we clicked on five. Right. And Memex has found, I don't know how many, Another 50. 50, yeah. Right. So, so instantaneously, we go from a, a tip that was an email address, and now we found a phone number automatically that was connected to all five of those web pages we visited. Wow. But what we see is that number was associated with more like several hundred ads, not just five. I mean, I can't imagine how long it would take a team of, of policemen to do this. I mean, could they even do it? No. Ever. Currently now, they couldn't do it. But we wondered, okay, when is this actually going to be used? Is this going to be one of these cases where, you know, Chris is going to tell us, oh, in five to ten years, this is going to be rolled out? And this is where Chris really surprised us because he said it's actually being used already right now. The story will continue after this. We went and talked to Manhattan District Attorney Cyrus Vance, Jr., who is one of the people who's actually using Memex. Uh, it, it's incredibly valuable. It's the Google search on steroids. Has this revolutionized the investigations on, on sex trafficking? It is an extremely important addition to our investigative toolbox. It's a big deal. With a single bit of uh, digital information, you can, in fact, create and demonstrate a web of relationships. And out of that web of relationships, 